the station covering all of the DMV. DC News Now continues. We had some showers overnight, and we're still looking at a few of those still lingering at this point, but again, very spotty in the coverage in terms of any of those showers that are still popping up. We still have a few of those light sprinkles, mainly across southern Maryland right now. Farther off towards the north and west, still seeing a little bit of the flurries mixing in with some of that rain. That's mainly over towards the front royal area where we could be dealing with that at this point. But in terms of temperatures, it's starting off in the 30s and 40s. We're low to mid 30s up and down the I-81 corridor, closer towards D.C., up and down the I-95 corridor. We're starting off right around around the 40 degree mark. We are seeing the cloud cover along with some reduced visibility in spots. So you may be dealing with a little bit of that fog. Winter weather advisory still remains in effect for Garrett County until 7 a.m. Down across the Blue Ridge, those higher elevations in Virginia. That's until 8 a.m. this morning. So still could be tracking some more of those slick spots in those areas where we have been dealing with a bit more of the flurries overnight uh, into early there earlier this morning. Visibility right now down about a mile in Frederick, two in Cumberland, nine in Martinsburg, seven in Leesburg with the farther south you go not seeing any visibility issues at this point future cash showing us that any shower activity will be out of here at least by 8 a.m this morning then we'll see a bit of a gradual clearing of those skies later on today although we'll see a little bit more of the sunshine later on this afternoon really won't help all too much in terms of the temperatures those will only rise back in the mid 40s so Overall, a chilly day out there. Winds mainly out of the north and west between 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then by 7 p.m., falling back into the 30s. And then overnight tonight, that's when temperatures really take a nosedive. Back into the upper 20s to low 30s to start off tomorrow morning's feet. But at least it's dry out there. But again, it's going to be a cold start out there tomorrow morning before we bounce back into those uh, mid 40s again tomorrow afternoon. Partly to looks like mainly cloudy at, at least later on tomorrow afternoon. And then by Friday, we're looking at the return of the sunshine and the return of some milder air back into the upper 50s. That's all thanks to that southerly flow and not only that, but more of the sunshine to round out the work week. Then as we look ahead towards Saturday and Sunday, we do have the system back out towards the west and that front will continue to advance closer towards our area. But it looks like Saturday will be the pick of the weekend for any of those outdoor plans you may have. I know I've been mentioning this if you are still decorating uh, outside for the holidays. It looks like Saturday will be the pick just because we are tracking the dry conditions. That system back out towards the west, that will likely move in as we look ahead towards Sunday. So Sunday, we're looking at the return of those showers across the region. So heads up about that. In terms of the next three days, though, we're mid to upper 40s, but today and tomorrow. Tomorrow looks a little bit warmer under a mix of sun and clouds. More sunshine on the way on Friday with highs back into the upper 50s. And then we're seeing a bit more of a warm up as well for the weekend. Saturday, upper 50s. Looks like Sunday could be into the low 60s ahead of that front back out towards the west. And then we'll continue to notice the clouds, though, and the threat for some showers will be breezy. Turning cooler as we start off that next work week back no low 50s. Liberty, what's the very latest on the roadways this morning? Well, just keep an 